Now uh, we will solve the problem 7.2 of uh, Griffith fourth edition introduction to electrodynamics. If this problem can contain four parts, we will solve one by one. Uh, the problem 7.2 is a capacitor has charged up to potential B naught at the time T naught. T equal to zero. This is one important point. Uh, it is charged up to potential V naught at the time T equal to zero. It is connected to a resistor like this. And begins to discharge as shown in figure 7.5, sorry, 7.5A. Uh, determine the charge on the capacitor as a function of uh, time. Uh, what is current through the resistor I of T? Uh, so first we will find what is uh, charge at uh, charge with respect to time. We know the basic definition V is equal to Q by C. V is equal to I into R. Now you bring R this side. So I is equal to Q by RC. This uh, negative sign, uh, I am using this negative sign because we are discharging current start degrees. So now what is basically the current TQ by TT? So I am bringing this negative sign to the other side. So TQ by TT is minus Q over RC. So uh, then if you integrate this, you will get Q is equal to uh, Q naught e power minus T over RC. Uh, now what is uh, Q naught is an uh, integral constant. So Q naught is equal to Q at the time T equal to zero, which is equal to uh, C uh, by definition Q is equal to C V. Up at, at uh, time t equal to 0, v is v naught, v equal to v naught. It is given in the problem itself. So I used that uh, fact that uh, v is equal to v naught at uh, time uh, t equal to 0. Now, what is i? Uh, you ignore this uh, negative sign because I have put that negative sign, the current decreases. So basically the definition I is equal to Q over RC. So 1 over RC into Q. Q we have found that Q is equal to uh, CV naught because Q naught we have replaced by CV naught. So Q is equal to uh, CV naught e power minus T over RC. Uh, here CC will get cancelled. CC will get cancelled. Uh, so I of T uh, will uh, become is equal to V naught uh, over R uh, e power minus T over RC. Uh, so uh, we can find, we have already find Q at the time T equal to Q naught, that is C V naught e power minus T over RC. Uh, similarly, the current I of T is equal to V naught over R e power minus uh, T over RC. Uh, so uh, we have uh, found Q of T and uh, I of T. Uh, now the next problem is uh, that is part P. Next section is part P. What was the original energy stored in the capacitor? Uh, by integrating the equation 7.7, .7, uh, confirm that heat delivered to the res resistor is equal to energy lost by the uh, capacitor. Uh, now imagine charging up a capacitor by connecting it and uh, resistor uh, to the battery to a battery of voltage V naught at the time t equal to zero as shown in figure this figure. So uh, the energy stored in the capacitor is equal to uh, of C V naught square. Uh, then energy dissipated, that is energy lost by the capacitor is uh, I squared R uh, integrating over 0 to infinite. I squared R integrate integration of I, uh, I squared R over the limit 0 to infinite with respect to TT, with respect to time, sorry. Now, uh, 
what is i squared here i squared is v naught squared over r squared uh, and the exponential term we are uh, squaring that also it will become e power minus 2t over rc uh, v squared this term will become v squared uh, divided by r squared but already there is one r here so this term will become uh, v naught squared over r because uh, this r squared will cancel with this r you will get r only then this exponential squared it. Uh, so uh, we are in, uh, integrating over the time. So if you integrate this over the time, you will get V naught squared R. This will become uh, the exponential term divided by uh, minus uh, 2 over R RC. That is, that will become minus RC uh, over 2. And this exponential term between the limit 0 to infinite. Uh, so here uh, we can uh, cancel out this r and this r. Uh, so uh, naturally, sorry, uh, okay, uh, here we are cancelling this r and this r. So now uh, if you apply the limit. Uh, e power infinite upper limit e power infinite is equal to zero e power minus of course uh, minus infinite term which is equal to zero uh, and then e power zero is uh, one so lower limit minus the lower limit is one uh, so this is minus one multiplied by this minus will become plus here you have one over two one over two uh, C V naught square. So this is the energy uh, lost. Uh, so energy uh, stored in the capacitor is exactly equal to this is energy stored uh, in the capacitor, which is exactly equal to energy lost by the capacitor. So we have proved that. Now we will move on to section three. Uh, part C is again you determine q of t and i of t uh, here v naught is equal to uh, the voltage across the capacitor which is q by c plus voltage across the resistor which is uh, i into r so q by c plus i into r now you bring this q by r to the other side so this will become uh, v naught minus q over c which is equal to i into r. Now you uh, bring r to the left hand side. So i will become v naught over r minus uh, q over rc. Then uh, uh, current is nothing but rate of change of uh, charge. That is tq by dt. Uh, here in the uh, right hand side, I am taking 1 over rc as a common. So first term will become cv naught minus a second term will become minus q. Now you bring this uh, CV naught minus q to the uh, left hand side and TT to the right hand side. So this will become q divided by uh, TQ divided by uh, CV naught minus q. I am re uh, writing as q minus CV naught. So naturally, then one negative sign will come. So I am taking that to the right hand side minus TT over RC. Uh, if you integrate this, you will get a natural logarithm of Q minus CV naught, which is equal to the right hand side minus T over RC plus constant. Uh, now, if you take exponential, then the right hand side will become Q minus CV naught, which is equal to this constant I am taking as K, e power minus T over RC, if you take exponential in the right hand side. Now we have to find uh, the value of K. When uh, time T equal to 0, Q is equal to 0. Uh, that is, if you take this expression, you will get at the time T equal to 0, Q equal to 0. Then at the time t equal to 0, this term will become 1. So uh, 
k is equal to in the right hand side you have k left hand side minus cv naught so you know the value of k uh, which is equal to cv naught so i am replacing uh, you first bring this cv naught to the right hand side so q of t will become cv naught plus k uh, times this exponential term now we have found that k is equal to minus c v naught so you can take c v naught as common because here also c v naught here also c v naught so which will become uh, 1 minus e power minus uh, t uh, over r c uh, so uh, this is the uh, charge across the capacitor if you compare the uh, section a this one uh, one uh, is missing and this also will become a plus so that is the comparison uh, so what is i of t i is equal to uh, t cube by t t you have to differentiate this term so if you differentiate uh, if you differentiate the constant it will become zero if you differentiate this exponential term it will become uh, minus 1 over rc minus uh, 1 over sorry minus 1 over rc 1 over rc this exponential term e power minus uh, t over rc so already there is one minus minus of minus will become plus so uh, this will become 1 over rc that exponential term uh, here this t and t sorry c and c will get cancelled so you will get v naught over r e power minus t over r c this is exactly same as uh, section a only this q is different from uh, the section a the i is uh, same as uh, section a Section T is find the total energy output of uh, battery that is integral uh, V naught I with respect to T. Determine the key, uh, heat delivered to the resistor. Uh, what is the final energy stored in the capacitor? Uh, what is the fraction of work done by the battery so up as a energy in the capacitor? Notice that your answer is independent of R. Uh, first, uh, we will find the uh, energy from the battery that is the uh, integral of uh, V naught I T T. But uh, we know that I of T in uh, both cases, energy charging and discharging, we got the same result, which is V naught over R E power minus T, uh, R C, T over R C. Now you replace this for I here i you replace this for i uh, then uh, you have v naught here already one v naught so this will become v naught square and r since v naught square and r are const, uh, constant i am taking out it's independent of time so now integration is uh, over this uh, exponential term so this will become v naught square r if you integrate e power minus t over rc you will get uh, e power minus t over rc uh, with the limit to 0 t infinite and if you integrate t uh, you will get minus rc so uh, here this r and r will get cancelled so you will get v naught squared minus c and this if you apply the limit first you apply the upper limit so e power minus infinite which is equal to zero here is zero e power zero is one lower limit if you apply lower limit it is minus one uh, so uh, this will become plus c so uh, this integral is equal to c b naught square uh, this is uh, energy total energy from this source and remember that uh, this i is exactly same as uh, energy, uh, energy uh, 
stored in the capacitor in section A. Uh, so, which is for which the work done we have seen is equal to half C V naught square. So, half of the energy goes to the capacitor. So, naturally, uh, remaining half of the energy goes to the resistance of C V naught square. So, uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.